Hey, I'm Kareem Levy. And I'm Emily Dreyfus. And welcome to Rumor Has It, the show where we round up the week's biggest tech rumors. And then we vote on which ones sound legit and what seems like it will never, ever happen. And remember that you can vote on all the rumors too, so keep your eyes out for the poll in the interactive player if you're watching on CNET. First, on December 9th, the New York Times reported that media kingpin and New York City Mayor Michael Bloomberg is considering buying the company that owns British newspaper The Financial Times. But that's not what got the internet interested. Buried in the report is the assertion that Bloomberg's advisors want him to buy LinkedIn instead. Isn't Bloomberg's empire focused on financial news media? LinkedIn is not a news organization, so what do they have to do with each other? Right, but the assumption of analysts is that Bloomberg really just wants to grow. And if Bloomberg wants to reach out to a broad base of business people like me on the internet, well, LinkedIn would pretty much deliver that wrapped up in a bow. We could do an entire show on the intricacies of this rumor, but we won't because it's the holidays and we don't want to torture you. Thank God, but if you want to know more, please click on the link. Next up, satellite TV company Dish and wireless carrier Sprint may be joining forces to offer customers bundled TV and phone service if they go through with a deal that would let Sprint use some of Dish's unused airwaves, according to a report from Bloomberg. <laughs> Ooh, I see what you did there with that <laughs> fancy segue. <laughs> Actually, the thing is, Sprint isn't the only company interested in those airwaves, as we've seen reports from Google and AT&T saying that they're also throwing their hats into the ring. But whoever Dish goes with, it's clear that Dish wants to get into the mobile phone game. There are even rumors that it plans to start selling smartphones at its Blockbuster stores. And finally, rumors regarding Microsoft bringing its Office suite to iOS have been swirling for a long time. But recent leaks seem to point out that it'll happen in 2013. The French site Mac Forever spotted references to a few key Office for iOS applications on an official Microsoft support site. That site lists Office Mobile for iPhone, Excel for iPad, and PowerPoint for iPad. Back in October, a Microsoft subsidiary in the Czech Republic said that, and I quote, in addition to Windows, Office will be also available on other operating systems, Windows Phone, Windows RT, Mac OS, Android, iOS, and Symbian. But then Microsoft released a statement saying that that information was inaccurate. Either way, it makes sense for Microsoft to release an iOS suite. Wouldn't they want their product on as many devices as possible? For sure. I say yay to this. I think it makes sense, but also because I selfishly want Word on my phone so badly. I do almost all my writing on public transit with a pen and a notebook because I think best while in motion. But you know what really sucks? Typing it up later. This would solve my whole life. Do you know what else really sucks? That you work for CNET and you still use a pen and paper. You can't pin me down. I like to be unexpected. <laughs> what do you guys think? Don't forget to vote. The CNET Council is composed of five editors who cast their votes anonymously. Their opinions are not an endorsement by CNET or CBS Interactive. Obviously because these are rumors, folks. And the CNET verdict is... Wow, a unanimous yes. Our CNET editors think it's about time that we get a Microsoft Office suite on iPhone. That's our show, everybody. Please share your rumors at rumorhasit at cnet.com or call us at 1-800-750-CNET and tweet us. And don't forget to tune in next week for more tech rumors.